Brian Warren, you're watching Toy Fishing. In this episode, I'll show you how to make a single haywire twist and a double haywire twist. I'll also explain why this is the best wire connection available to anglers. Well, I'm going to try to explain. These are the tools you'll need to make this connection. A side cutter to cut the single strand wire, a haywire twist tool and a round nose pliers. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about our tools, please click in the links below to find out where you can get these or find out more information about these. Or click right up here to look at the Haywire Twist Tool video. The components you'll need to make a very basic rig is some single strand stainless steel wire, either bright or brown, a swivel and a hook. This is a very basic rig just to show you the concept. And just in case you were unsure, you cannot use multi-strand wire like this to form a haywire twist. Right, so what is a haywire twist? Well, the name says it all. It's an old school method for tying up hay bales, probably used since the first days of commercially available single strand wire. It consists of a loop at the one end, then a few initial twists of the two wires together, then the final single wraps of the tag end around the standing end. These are often called barrel wraps. Okay, let's get making a haywire twist. First, cut your single strand wire to the desired length, including two to three extra inches on each end. So in my case, I want the rig to be 12 inches long, so I'll cut 16 to 18 inches of wire. As you get proficient with making a haywire twist, you'll be able to use less wire. Right, then grab your haywire twist tool and form the initial loop of the wire. This is a two-stage process. Stage one, grip and squeeze the handle. This will form half the loop. Then stage two continues while you maintain pressure on the handle. Fold over the wires so they cross over each other and form an angled section of roughly 90 degrees. Things to note here, you wanna make your loop roughly the same size as the loop on your swivel or slightly larger. This will allow the haywire twist to move freely and prevent kinks in the wire when you've got a trophy fish putting on the heat. Most people tend to twist or turn stuff clockwise, like closing a tap. So just make sure the wires are overlapping so they're ready for a clockwise wrap. If you have them like this, the wires won't initially wrap around each other. At this stage, slide on your hook or your swivel or whatever item you're linking in. While the loop's clamped in your left hand with the tool, I would then begin to evenly twist the wire over each other four times for now. Ensure that they're even and you try and keep the angle at 90 degrees or shallower. The trick is to ensure both wires are twisted together and form a neat, even twist. Once these are complete, you will need to switch to wrapping the tag end around the standing end. The best way to achieve this is as you complete the final twist, begin to fold out the tag end so it's perpendicular, basically 90 degrees to the standing end. Ideally, do this over a half a turn so the change in direction is not abrupt. At this point, I've now wrapped the tag end around the standing end five times. Right, now you can snap off the tag end piece of wire. Do not use a side cutter here. Most metals fail under fatigue, so this is the concept we tend to use here. If you bend the wire straight down towards the loop end and push the wire hard against each other, then bend it back a full 180 degrees, then back and forth, you'll find the wire will snap off after a few bends. Normally, I get it in four to five bends. Also, if you look in the tips and tricks later, I'll show you an alternate method for snapping off the tag end. So that's it. All you need to do now is the hook end. It's always worth leaving the hook end till last. So when you're twisting the wire, the hook does not get snagged on your arm or something like that. Right, let's take a look at the double hay wire twist, basically using two strands of wire. I'll explain later why this is worth doing for certain applications. This time, take two pieces of wire between 16 and 18 inches long. Now, as before, make the initial loop, bend and form the second stage of the loop. Then place your swivel into position. Then do the equal twist wraps around each other. Then transfer the tag end wires over half a turn so the tag end is positioned at 90 degrees to the standing end and begin wrapping the tag end wires around the standing end wires. Then do your five wraps. This is the slightly tricky bit before we snap off. Take the lower tag end wire and twist it a further 180 degrees around the standing end so you have two tag ends opposite one another on either side of the standing end wires. 
Then as before, bend each wire and break off the tagging. Backwards and forwards motions. Right, this is the big secret with double wires. Now take the two lengths of the standing end wires and gently turn these anti-clockwise, making a loose twist around each other. Then start the haywire twist on the other end. The reason for this is to ensure the two wires remain linked and there's no belly formed between the two pieces of standing end. If you end up doing this in the same direction as your initial wraps on your haywire twist, basically clockwise in my illustration, you'll end up with the belly in one of your wires. This tends to look slightly untidy and won't load up the two wires equally. Right, then finally, once you've made either your single or double haywire twist, ensure to take your round nose pliers and straighten the haywire twist out. You normally have to do a little bend at the bottom and a single bend at the loop end. This just makes the haywire twist look all neat and tidy. Sweet. And that's it, the haywire twist. Let's take a look at some tips and tricks. Tip number one, fish conservation and health. This is the thing, you've only already got two readily available options for steel leader, either single strand or multi-strand wire. You used to get plastic coated wire everywhere when I grew up as a kid, but I've not really seen this for many years now on the retail shelf, well at least where I fish. I've used both multi-strand and single strand cable, but the multi-strand is a bit like braid fishing line in your hands. It really does cut things up. When you're dealing with hard pulling agile fish, like a black tip shark for instance, these fish, depending on the angle and the movement of the wire, can get cut up real bad with the wire cable. And I've seen a few sharks really get hurt. So by using a single strand thicker wire or a doubled up piece of single strand wire, I've not had one black tip shark get cut up or injured on the side of the mouth in eight years. This is why I think it's the best connection when you return your catch, it's in a better condition than if you use multi-strand wire. Tip number two, how to prevent kinks and bends in your wire. Doubling the wire is a great way for preventing kinks or bends, partly due to the twisted wire between your swivel and hook and there being two strands of wire. Right, tip number three, it's cheaper to make a steel leader. There's less expense on the actual wire itself and you do not need to buy crimps. Tip number four, this is an alternate way to snap off the tag end. Then bend the tag flat down against the haywire twist. Bend the tag end in half at 90 degrees, then rotate the little handle back and forth to snap off the tag end. Certainly give it a try. You can make so many interesting rigs once you've perfected the haywire twist. Just in case you're wondering, we will be doing a World's Strongest Knot episode on this connection to see exactly how many twists and wraps are needed for various size wires and also how strong this thing really is. That would be interesting. Right, tight lines, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and uh, yeah, give the haywire twist a go. It's a great, great connection and you get that satisfaction of uh, making your own rig, you know? It, it's, I mean, look, don't get me wrong, it's, it's great buying a quick and easy rig, tie it on and away you go, but when you're sitting down in front of the telly or around a bar or something with some mates and you're making some rigs up and you're doing a hay wide twist, it's pretty cool seeing them all lined up and I don't know, I like it. But anyway, give it a shot. Hope you enjoyed that and see you soon, hopefully. Yeah. Cheers, man.